Hey guys, what I want to talk about today is a step that's uh, commonly overlooked in your sod laying project and that's the step of leveling your soil. And what that's going to do is it's going to take an ordinarily pretty good sod laying job and it's going to make it look spectacular because everything's going to be perfectly flat and even and it's going to look like a real professional did the job. And it's very simple to do. Uh, but before we can do that, we need to make sure that the soil is perfectly ready and amended and good to go to have soil or to have sod laid on top of it. And we talked a little bit about soil amending uh, in the writing above, but let me just explain a little bit more uh, why it's, it's a tricky process in this video. Depending on the area of the country that you live in and the regional climate and the type of soil that you have in your region, you're going to use different processes for amending your soil. I'm in the, uh, the southwest um, in San Diego, California, and most of the southwestern states here have a lot of clay in the soil. And so you're going to need to break that up in order to have proper drainage and a good foundation of soil for your, for your sod to grow into. And so you're going to want to add some gypsum to your soil and possibly some, loose, uh, some fine loose sand to make it more loamy. But if you're in another region that's more marshy or, or has different um, different problems to overcome, then you're going to want to use different amendments uh, for your soil to get it ready to go. And the best way to uh, go about doing that that i found is just to go into your local Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever you're going to uh, buy most of your supplies for your, for your sod laying project and just ask them for their advice because they know the region that you live in, they know the conditions, and you're going to want to tell them, hey, I'm amending my soil, I'm going to lay some sod down, what would you recommend that I do? And I would take I would take their advice because mostly they're just going to recommend some fertilizers and different things, uh, possibly some topsoil and they're going to get you get your uh, ground ready to go. So the process that I generally use in all for uh, for all sod laying projects is to one, rototill your ground which we talked about in the first video above uh, and spreading some pre-emergent weed killer on top of the the ground before you rototill to mix it in with the soil and with the uh, the weed seeds that are in there to keep anything that wants to grow up in your nice fresh new soil from growing up. It's going to keep it nice and, uh, and dead so it can't grow up through your brand new sod. And after you do that and your ground is nice and loose and it has a um, maybe four to six inches of really nice loose tilled earth that's when you're going to want to uh, add in your amendments too um, you're going to want to add in the gypsum or fine sand or whatever else the fertilizers that are going to uh, um, that are going to make it perfectly ready for the uh, for the sod to be laid on top of it and after that once you have all the ingredients to your old soil and it's all good to go everything's mixed in and you're ready that's when I generally will add about an inch of topsoil to the top of it just to give your sod like the best maximum uh, chance of, of really taking root and growing well this topsoil is going to be a fantastic uh, first level first layer for your sod to to uh, to grow into because it's got a lot of nutrients, it's rich and uh, and everything that it needs to take off and and to root into, and it's pretty cheap. You can buy two cubic foot bags of topsoil at at any local Home Depot or Lowe's or anywhere, or you can generally order it in mass uh, as a cubic yard. It can be delivered to your home from uh, from a lot of the major garden centers, so it's pretty easy to get a hold of, uh, and it'll go a long way. A little bit'll go a long way. So once you get your your ground um, to that point where you have your pre-emergent uh, weed killer into your uh, into your soil and all your amendments and you have your level of topsoil, then at that point you're going to be ready to perfectly level your uh, level your ground so that once the sod is laid on top of it and takes root, it's just going to look like a completely professional job. It's going to be completely level. Everything everywhere is going to is going to look symmetrical and nice. And it's very easy to do this. You only need a couple of tools that are uh, about ten to fifteen dollars at Home Depot. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your local hardware store and you're going to want to pick up some spikes. And I generally recommend these foot long spikes because your ground is really loose. So if you get a shorter spike, six inches, eight inches, it's not going to be able to withstand much tug to it because there's going to be a uh, because your ground's going to be very loose. So you can get a couple of these for 50 cents a piece or so at your local Home Depot and you're going to want to pound them in to the ground in various parts in the corner uh, and elsewhere of where your sod's going to be laid and once they're all secure, pounded in the ground uh, firmly, 
then at that point you're going to want to use uh, what's called masonry string and this is generally used for leveling bricks and other things other masonry projects but we're going to use it for our uh, for our sod laying project and what you're going to want to do is uh, is just unwind the string wrap it around the head of one of your nails and then just walk all throughout the yard just zigzagging or whatever pattern you want to use to have a nice uh, zigzag uh, string section running all throughout your yard and what that's going to give you uh, is a grid for your line level this is called a line level I just bought it at Home Depot for a dollar fifty and this is specifically designed to hook onto string so you can see uh, whether or not the string is level and the way that this works let me just open it up here quick if you have a string hmm. alright so if you have a string that's running through an area your line level will be able to hook onto it just like this and it'll be able to hang there and it'll tell you you know when your uh, when your string is level and when you get your string to to the the when you get your string perfectly level and you can you can adjust it by pounding the nails down a little further or else raising the nails up a little bit or you can move the string up and down on the nails but you're going to want to make sure that your string is is pretty well level pretty close to being in the middle of the bubble as you can see it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect but it should be pretty close and you're going to want to do that in various places on your line to make sure that this this line grid over your uh, over your dirt area is basically one big level area all the different strings in the grid are, are pretty close to level and that's going to really let you see whether or not your ground in the various places is uh, is is perfectly level and if it's not obviously you can just add more topsoil uh, to the different regions which is another reason why it's really nice to have some topsoil on hand because if you have sections of your of your dirt that are unlevel you can just add topsoil you're gonna need to compress it down a little bit otherwise after you lay the saw down and water it a bunch it's just gonna it's just gonna compress down anyway and you're still gonna have a hole there where uh, where puddles and and whatnot will form but your grid line is really gonna gonna point out those spots on your on your uh, uh, ground that aren't level and you can add um, as much topsoil as you need to those areas to bring it up to be level with the uh, with the other sections and likewise if you have hills in any area you can just scrape them away and add them to other low sections and just to get your your ground perfectly level so that when you do lay the sod on top of it it's going to just look like a completely professional job it's going to look like something that uh, that that you paid a lot of money to have somebody do